This is Twit. Uh, on Friday, I interviewed Phil Zimmerman, who is the uh, inventor of PGP. Maybe you've heard about it. It is, to this day, he invented it in 91. Uh, to this day, the best way, the really the, the only widespread way of, of encrypting your email to make it completely private so that only you and the recipient can read it. The problem is it's always been difficult to use. It's a little easier to use than it used to be, but it's always been a little difficult to use. Nevertheless, PGP encryption, which was the first widespread use of public key cryptography, is to this day the most secure, the best way to communicate. Better than WhatsApp, better than Signal, uh, the best way to message, the best way to email. Uh, and I, anything that makes it easier, I'm all for it. The estimate is only about a million people worldwide use PGP email. That's kind of not successful, right? Uh, I publish my PGP key. I encourage people to use it. And I still don't get any. I get one or two encrypted email a month. However, uh, there is a, 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 an up-and-coming, uh, I guess, group of people who are made money in the, in the technology and have decided to create something for free. There may be a, a financial future down the road, but right now, completely for free, that I think is a great way to incorporate PGP into your life in a variety of ways. It's called Keybase. And you can go to keybase.io. You can go there and create a PGP key. Initially, it was a way to share your PGP key. So you'd say, well, I'm on Keybase, as I am, keybase.io slash Leo Laporte. And uh, you can get my key there. You can send me there from there an encrypted message that only I, you and I can read. They have downloads for Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. But they also have, Keybase also has a iPhone app. And it's something you might want to check out because it allows you to do some stuff that people really do want to do. So I'm, let me just show you. First of all, very cute icon. It is cute. I like the icon. So there are a number of things you can do with Keybase. Uh, initially, as I said, you follow people, and when their key changes, uh, you will automatically get an update. So you can keep up with somebody's PGP key. It's not unusual that every few years somebody generates a new key and distributes it. Uh, I don't keep, and I probably don't recommend keeping your private key on Keybase. Now, you understand the way PGP works is you can freely distribute a public key. People can use that to send you encrypted email, but you keep the private key private so that nobody has access to it. Keybase will let you store your private key there. I wouldn't do that. I would only store your public key there and really keep your private key private. But once you do that, and once you're on Keybase, people can use your public key to send you encrypted chat. So you see, I'm chatting with a bunch of people. This is more people than I've used PGP with in practically my whole lifetime. So a bunch of people can chat with me privately. They just added exploding chat. This is much more secure than any other solution out there. And I will include Signal and, and, and those widely uh, celebrated secure systems. They use the same kind of public key crypto. But there are issues in general with public key crypto that Keybase, I think, has solved and makes their chat, to me, preferable to everything else. Plus, it's very easy to find somebody's key because if they're on Keybase, you just search for them by name, you can add them, and then you can send them private messages. You can send them exploding messages. Let me let me pick somebody, uh, and I'll send an exploding message. Emery and I have been having fun with exploding messages. So if you see here, these are messages that Emery sent to me that have exploded and he set a time on them. So let me let me write him a message. I'll set a time frame on them. The exploding means the message will no longer be accessible, not only to him, but to you and to anybody else after a time period. It's kind of like this message will self-delete in 30 seconds or five minutes or six hours or 24 hours or three days or seven days. That's the longest. So I can send him a message that after 30 seconds, if he doesn't read it in 30 seconds, will disappear. This is gone in 30 seconds. Now, I've sent that. Now, we can actually even watch it disappear because I can read it now, but in, you see the countdown has already started. Oh. That will disappear. We'll just be, and in fact, it even explodes in kind of a cute way like the fuse and the bomb going off. So that is going to be a way to send messages that are not only private but self-deleting. So I think that's really great. Teenagers, if you want to communicate with friends and then mom gets the phone later and says, well, let me see your key base, even then...
they can't read that message. That message is no longer good for anybody. Great advice. <laughs> Thought you'd like that. Look at that. <laughs> Boom. Just exploded. That message is gone. Boom. Um, for good. It's free. How do they might make money? Don't worry about it. Now, <laughs> let me just show you a couple of other things we can do with it. Because I'm not done. Okay. Believe it or not, that by itself would be worthwhile. Now, how much would you not now, pay? Now, how much would you not pay? <laughs> It supports teams. So if you're a team that uses, as we do, HipChat or Slack or, or uh, Discord for team chat, I set this up, but I can't get anybody to twit to use it because, well, we use other stuff. But I can, cr you can create a group chat that can include thousands of people, same exact security, which is great. You can even have sub teams and so forth. Finally, and this is not a feature of the iOS version. All of this is in the iOS version, but you should go to keybase.io to create your account and set it up and create it and create a key and so forth. <clears throat> you can also have private folders, public folders. <clears throat> it has an encrypted Git, which I use all the time. Git is a way of, uh, it's a codes repository, a way of sharing code. I don't share the code with anybody. You could do that. You could have code sharing with a team, <clears throat> but I do upload Super secret stuff that I want to keep on all my machines. I use the Keybase Git repository. Things like my tax returns. Uh, I upload those to the Keybase Git repository. It's secured. It's encrypted. Keybase can't read it. Only I can read it. And I can sync it to all my machines. So I have access to it. But again, only I can read it. A lot of very nice features. This is completely free. Uh, I think there are ways to make money, maybe with the team chat if they wanted to. But right for right now, it's an effort. It's kind of an open source, public, uh, uh, good effort uh, by the folks at uh, Keybase. And I just, I really think it's worth checking out. Now, I realize this is an advanced topic. Uh, most people don't need strong cryptography. But if you do, this is the way, in my opinion, to do it, even for messaging especially for messaging, and it's free, keybase.io, and that is my app cap. I'm just going to install it right now. It's asking me for a passphrase. And now you can send messages your teenagers can't read. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So the passphrase, you really want to set uh, be strong passphrase on Keybase. They don't support two-factor, which is a little disappointing to me as far as I can tell. I wish they did, but that's all right because... Logging into your account doesn't get, even if somebody got into your account, they don't, that's why I don't put my private key there. They don't get access to anything that's not already public. I also, if you go to keybase.io slash Leo Laporte, I use it to prove that I own sites. So you can use it to generate a strong proof that this is your site, this is your email address and all of that stuff. See there, those, my Twitter, my Instagram, uh, my Facebook, my websites, those are all listed there and those are cryptographically proven to be mine. Mm. And so that's another very nice use for it. I This is a very impressive uh, thing they've done, and I, I think they deserve some attention because uh, they're doing it for free. I think they're doing it for the public good.